Last time on Must Be Dice, the Paradise Path Mystery Solvers Club continued their search for the missing blue bike. But it turns out this might be the group's first real case. What the client neglected to mention is that the bike belongs to Mike Seeker, a kid who no one seems to remember, except for those that ingested some strange spores out in the woods. After following up on some leads, the group was able to track down the Seeker household. It's a giant estate that might actually look really nice if it wasn't covered in spores and fungus. To make matters worse, it seems like the Seekers have a new pet, a giant black bear covered in the same spooky shrooms that plagued the coyotes from earlier. Will they be able to fight off this monstrosity? Will we find out what happened to Mike Seeker? Will Sloan ever show up for his shift at the Wiener Factory? Find out this week on Must Be Dice, Paradise Path. Sloan and Spencer and Virgil are just sitting in the car. Yeah. <laughs> is this an overnight shift? Because I feel like it's getting late in the day and you showing up to work, it's like, is it a bar? Spencer, you don't know anything about mall culture. Malls are open late because they're cool. I don't think there's anything cool about consumerism. <sighs> Dex. He, Dex is so in here. Dex, Dex is in the house. In the oh house. yeah, can you tell so, us where we all left cut, off? Yeah, yeah. Cut to Dex raising his hands <laughs> again <laughs> in an <laughs> effort in, in front of in front of the giant fungi ridden black bear. Mushroom bear. So this is actually a scene that plays out in two different uh, two different places. So Dex, you are inside of the house. You are face to face. Well, with some space between you, with a giant black bear. Uh, that is absolutely covered in these spores. Uh, and it is making direct eye contact with you. And as it opens its giant fucking mouth, it lets out one of the most terrifying growls that you have ever heard. Outside, sitting around Dex's car, are the three of you. We've got Spencer, Sloan, and Virgil. And you are debating uh, the hours of the local mall. Mm -hmm. But from inside of the house, you all hear a terrifying growl that Sloan, Has you've heard before in your trance when you went out and uh, just sort of saw everything covered in this spore dust earlier. I've heard this growl before, so no need to be alarmed. It's just your standard growl. Are you Was sure? in a trance? That sounded real bad. That's, no. Yeah, that when sounded it, fucking terrible. When, we, when I hear a growl that I've never heard before, You'll be the first I let know. Cut back to inside of the house where Dex uh, has his arms raised, trying his hardest to look as big as possible. Dex, Dex has his hands up and then slowly brings them back down, reaches into his pockets, and pulls out his nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> Do the splits. And then, and then, wants to act under pressure. Okay, oh, what are you no. trying to do? I was gonna try and uh, use the nunchucks to smash something from like a end table or something towards okay. the black bear and then run away. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Do the splits though too. Like. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna use luck. You're gonna Ooh. use luck, Yeah. all right. Nice. It's a 12. So mark I have one cool. Oh, so. Okay. Mark off one of your luck things, uh, and I say that there is uh, when you enter into the house, you're sort of entering into this weird foyer that leads uh, into sort of like a kitchen dining area, and there is between the foyer and the kitchen dining area, there is a uh, like a, a table set up with a. a a couple of bottles of alcohol. It's like sort of like a bar, you know? And uh, there are several different bottles of alcohol and you are able to smash one of them, um, which to the three of you outside, you hear uh, the sound of a smash followed by another growl. Dex inside of the house, you smack a bottle and it crashes and this sort of just freaks out the bear. Okay, and then I was gonna run for the stairs. Go for it. So you are running for the stairs to go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't explain it, but my, these telepathic thoughts that I have that I kind of have always had throughout my life, they seem to be getting stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't quite put my finger on what's happening, but it feels like I can tap into people's minds more and more. Can I tap into what's going through Dex's mind? 
Sure. At all. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to roll for that? Uh, you can read people's thoughts and put words in their mind. This can allow you to investigate a mystery or read a bad situation without needing to talk. You can also manipulate someone without speaking. You still roll moves as normal, except people will not expect the weirdness of your mental communication. Okay. Yeah. So you can do that. You can uh, manipulate uh, him or. It, what are you what are you trying to do? It, it's weird because I it feels almost like invasive. Mm -hmm. But he was like pretty kind to me back there and like he's reading the books that I like and like I don't know, it's just maybe maybe I can kind of like see what he's thinking right now and Okay, so you're do, you're hearing this Make growl. Him love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're hearing this growl and you're trying to uh sort of uh, see what's going on, but also maybe trying to figure out how he's feeling about yeah. it. So I'm gonna say you're investigating mystery. Oof. So that's, um, yeah, a five. So normally you are able to sort of use body language or something else. Lately, since you've inhaled these spores, uh, it feels like maybe it's gotten a little bit stronger and weirder. You've seen things more vividly. You've been able to sort of hear things uh, here and there. You aren't really fully able to make a connection with Dex's mind, but you are able to hear his thoughts and you are able to hear one single word. Uh, Dex, what is, the, what is the top word on your mind right now? Bear. And that is what you hear. Uh, Virgil. What's going on? What's going on, Sloan? You're one of Dex's best friends, right? Yeah, I'm very worried about him right now. Do you know if he's into, like, any girls who might be named Bear? Huh. From, from inside of the house. I just look around like, <laughs> Uh, inside of the house, Dex, you are running up the stairs, uh, terrified, just sort of the nunchucks swinging freely by your side as the bear crashes through the screen glass window and is now inside the house chasing after you. From outside, you've just heard a smaller crash followed by a very, very large glass crash of another glass. No girl's named Bear, but I think maybe there is somebody named, like, Britney or something that might have been into him, might have been a pet name. What was that sound? Well, just based on the sound and then what you just got out of Dex's head, I think there's a bear in that house. I, I, I didn't. Is what makes more sense. I, I think a woman named I, Bear. I didn't get anything out of his head. I'm not. I'm not reading people's thoughts without it their feels permission. Pretty invasive. Because he didn't give you permission. Uh, okay. Oh, look, of course. I'm no one. I'm not one to conspiracy, judge. Conspiracy. You're conspire. Oh, yeah. Of course you would. Spencer I, Sloan. Not judging. I think we need to get in that house and see what's happening in there. Is there I think a Dex would be in trouble. A window on the second story yeah, that yeah, faces yeah, yeah. out to them. There are a ton of there are floor to ceiling windows uh, of throughout the wall facing the thing, and it's pretty cloudy. It's pretty dusty in there. There's a lot of spores in there, and actually, when you go upstairs, you see that there's more of these sort of mushroom uh, constructs that are taking over the house. And you can see your friends standing around your car just sort of casually talking. Can I bang on the bang on the glass to try and get their attention? You can. Do you want me to roll? No. Okay, so I'm banging on the glass to try and get their attention while oh. frantically thumbs downing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Dex is up there, and he's, they, he, that's, that's the bad signal. Something bad is happening. Oh. He's mouthing, he's mouthing something that looks like Fares a where in the mouse? There's a hair in the mouse? I think Dex might be in trouble there. Let's go inside. Okay. Should Team? We, should, um, okay. I, I guess. Um, All right, ready, bring, let's go. And uh, the three of you start running into the house uh, and you are able to see a large, large creature just sort of making their way uh, up the top of the stairs. And as you look around, you see the same thing Dex saw, a house that is uh, just filled with this spory dust cloud. And there are a bunch of these like sort of groupings of mushrooms all over the place. And if you look straight out of the house, uh, after you walk into the door, you can see that there is a shattered glass window where you now see Lucas's secret smoke spot and uh, uh, an increasing amount of these giant uh, mushrooms. I want to investigate a mystery. Go for it. Foxy. Oh All right, Mark experience. That's a that's a two. Yeah, you. Well, it's a four. 
Okay, it's a four. So you you look around the house and you go, yeah, I'm not really getting anything. <laughs> Can I yell up to Dex? Yeah, of course. Like, Dex, are you up there? There is some kind of like uh, galloping sound that was happening uh, upstairs and suddenly it stops and you hear a growl uh, as now this giant uh, massive figure that you see as a bear covered in this fungi is, is heading back down the stairs. Oh shit. Oh, Dex God. was able to hear you though. Okay. Rachel, what the hell is that? It's definitely a bear. I think he was up in the window saying bear and I think it's not a woman he was thinking of. That means he's still That's single. What I said. That's true. Can I protect someone, try to lead the bear away? Sure, yeah. Okay. What is this? Where are you trying to lead the bear? Oh, just in a different room or something, if it's coming down the stairs. Are you going to like a specific room? Are you trying to go Um, outside? Where are you trying to go? I'll go into a, like a, is there like a adjacent room I could go into? Uh, Yeah, there is the living room, which is sort of where the bear ran through the screen door to, uh, to get through to where they are. There are two hallways going on either side. Okay, I'll try to run down the one of the hallways. The left or the right? Right. You got it. Go okay. for it. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna use luck. Okay, <laughs> mark uh, one of your luck points off. Okay. Uh, how do you get the bear's attention? Um, is it facing towards us, yes. coming down the stairs? I'm gonna, uh, is there a vase nearby I can throw at it? Yeah, so you're standing in the same place. There is a, a full bar. Uh, oh. on that table that's sort of stocked up right there. And then there are several just like really nice sort of modern minimalist uh, art ceramic pieces just sort of all over the, okay. the, the house. Virgil picks one up and hurls it over his head at this bear going, Hah! All right, it uh, smacks into the bear's head and you see this sort of cluster of spores explodes and a bunch of that sort of spore goop uh, now is all in the air. Oh God. The bear is looking directly at you and heading for you as you run down a hallway, which does not go very far. Uh There are several rooms. There are four different rooms, two on each side, and then one room at the end of the hall. Okay, help! Okay. Because I run away do from I the hall. Do you have eyes on the kitchen? You do, yeah. You're right next to the kitchen. In fact, the bear, uh, uh, Virgil's running that way, and the bear actually runs past you and Spencer <laughs> to, to chase him down the hallway. Wait, is the bear covered in liquor from the bottle? Yes. Ooh, we gotta Spencer, get we need fire. We need fire. But, look, let's go check and see if there's any kind of one of those little, you know, like barbecue starters or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in the kitchen drawer. Here, help right. me search the kitchen drawers. Yeah, we. Do, uh, that's what I do. Yeah, pretty immediately you're able to find one. Okay. Okay. How, how do we do? Do we, What do we do? I. Do we have? Uh, oh God! I mean, if there were matches, we could oh, throw geez. them. But this will have to get close to it. You got to get like a, a cloth, like a blanket or something. Is there like a, a there, couch, like there, a pillow we could light on fire? And <laughs> there are a bunch of pillows that are on the couch. They are covered also in spores. But in the in the kitchen, you you do find uh, there are there are a ton of hand towels. Okay. Just oh, that's sort of laying around. But before you're able to do anything, uh, I'm gonna need you to pick a room to go in or something to do. Okay. Um, so there's four rooms? There are four rooms, two on each side, and then there's one room, or there's a door at the end of the hallway. And where's Dex at? During Dex that? is uh, upstairs, and we'll get so, to him in a okay. second. Okay, I'll pick the first door on the right. The first door on the right is a bathroom. Uh, oh, it's shit. pretty spacious, okay. but there is, uh, a, there's one window above the shower. It's one of those long, thin windows that you definitely cannot get into. You have enough time to either get in here and close the door or choose uh, the room on the other side. Other side. <laughs> you get into the other room and it's one of those like, uh, you know those fancy lounges that people have? Yeah. Where there's like a bunch of uh, heads of animals that are. Oh, a game room. Game yeah. room, yes, thank you. There's a game room. <laughs> and there's a bunch, of, you see a bunch of these terrifying animals that, uh, ah! <laughs> that are also, uh, covered in spores, but they don't seem to be doing anything. But one thing that you do notice is there are also a bunch of, uh, they, they look like sort of ceremonial uh, swords. There's uh, a machete on the wall, but underneath a giant black bear head that's hung on the wall is a hunting rifle and a shotgun. I'll go for one of those. I don't know, just scramble for one. 
Shotgun, sure. You pick up the shotgun. Uh, Dex, upstairs, you are no longer under attack and you can sort of get the lay of the land. Uh, there are a bunch of mushroom clusters everywhere. Uh, most of the upstairs has these floor to ceiling windows. It's sort of this like modern house. And if you look outside, because you're sort of elevated, you're able to see the scope of, of the backyard and uh, the secret smoke spot. And you see that there are these giant mushrooms that get increasingly bigger. Uh, and then there is one giant mushroom that is sort of pulsating and emitting this uh, this spore clouds out. And uh, coming from there is uh, not only the pack of coyotes that you fought earlier, but now a pack of wolves that is also covered in these uh, sort of spore clusters. And I can, can I hear what's going on downstairs or? You can, you hear, so in succession, you hear smash, ah, help. Door open, door closed, door open. Hell yeah, I found a lighter. I found towel. I, so I, from the top of the stairs, I shout down, there's more coming. More what? Everything. Oh shit, okay, Spencer, we gotta move. I oh, think God. we go to the bar, grab all these towels, we go to the bar and make some Molotovs. Okay. Which I can do. Yeah, I imagine you have the blueprints. Uh, uh, yes, I have a lot. I can, I mean, there's not, a lot of improvised it's explosives. It's not complicated, yeah, but. Uh, the recipes for it, yeah. Inside of, inside of Spencer's wallet, while most people have like a thing where it's like pictures of family, he has little cutouts of excerpts from the anarchist cookbook. Yes, yes. <laughs> Many of which might just explode in my face if I were to actually try to make them. Which way did you see Virgil go? Virgil oh! went down that hallway. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's ah! still screaming. I, I just want to make some Molotovs. Yeah, you can do that. You uh, are, uh, with the amount of towels and alcohol that you have, you are able to make five of them. All right. All Although right, uh, they aren't going to, because you need to like physically like douse the thing and put them in there and get them ready, uh, they're not going to be ready for another couple of minutes. How okay. many do you think we need? I mean, let's just, maybe we just make one right now and come back to it. Okay. All right, you're able to make one. All and right. now you have that. If you're making Molotovs, make as many as you can. <laughs> There's more coming. Sloan, why don't you, do you want to keep making Molotovs and I'm gonna, I can look for this fucking bear? Okay, uh, Dex, oh no, Dex, uh, yeah, Dex, why don't you help make Molotovs? What are, what are you doing up there? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dex starts heading down the stairs in the game room. Virgil, this giant bear seems to be too big for uh, the doorway and is sort of trying comedically to get in and realizes it can't before it sort of backs up into the open bathroom that you left the door open to and rushes forward, sort of breaking oh the door frame oh, open Jesus. and is now standing directly in front of it. Oh my God, back beast. Can I shoot it? You can. Is that like a roll? shoot it, yeah, it's kick some, kick ass. some ass. So you're gonna roll plus tough. Okay. Seven plus two, nine. A nine is a mixed success. Uh, so you are able to uh, shoot it. Um, where do you want to shoot it? I'm just aiming for its head, which is like coming at me right in front of me in the doorway. So you are able to shoot the bear in the face and a ton of fucking buckshot gets stuck into this thing. Some of those spore clouds uh, explode and emit like a gas and it sort of like knocks the bear back for a second and you're not able to see this but the ringing out of that noise uh, alerts all of the animals that are outside who are now heading towards the open smash screen door into oh, the living room. Shit. Spencer, do you have eyes on him? Where's Virgil? Do I have eyes? You might not have eyes on him because he's in a room, but you did see a bear smash into a room and then hear a gunshot and the bear kind of walked back out a little bit. Am I, should I throw this? The house is gonna fucking burn down if I throw this right now. <laughs> Find Virgil. Virgil's in the room with the bear. Or in the room behind the bear. Somebody do something! Virgil, is there a window you can get out of? There is not. Is there nope. like a Sorry. refrigerator or something that can be moved in the kitchen? Is there yeah. an object that I can move to create a barricade to prevent what's coming You're from You're trying getting to in? barricade to Us? stop the bear. Yes. Okay. Try, oh, no, I'm trying, not the bear, because the, the, I- No, I know. I'm not I just, even thinking about the bear. I'm thinking about the wolves and the coyotes. Yeah. So is there something I can push to barricade? Yeah, there in the living room, there are, a, uh, there are two very large uh, sofas. 
Okay. So you were able to get, uh, what is that, it's an 11? A nine, a nine plus one for toughness. So it's a 10. So you are able to barricade uh, the opening of the screen door with two of these couches. It takes some movement and you're able to do it. And yeah, it doesn't look like these wolves or the, these coyotes are gonna be easily able to get in, but if it's left alone for a while, they'll probably be able to break through it. These things are pretty fucking big. Um, look, I, I think you just have to hit that bear and we'll get Virgil out. All right, uh, I also, like, we... He's tough, he's the toughest dude, one of all of us. This is a very uh, wealthy home. They have to, we sh need to, like, find the garage and get a truck or something and get the That's fuck. what you're thinking of right now? I mean, partially, yeah, because we're gonna be in okay. a flaming house with Brother. wolves closing. This, all right, Brother, I throw the Molotov at the bed. This bear. barricade isn't gonna hold much longer, or what? it might. Somebody look for car <laughs> keys or something, because. Well, and none of us have even asked where this seeker guy is. I d nowhere good. He's in hell. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the at the bear. There's barely any it. sign of him. Bear? Dex, did you just make a joke? I guess not. So There's you're gonna roll kick some ass, which is uh, a roll plus tough. So go ahead and roll for it. Oh, okay. Oof. Nine. Uh, okay. okay, on a nine, it is a mixed success. Um, so here's what happens. You throw the Molotov uh, at the bear into the game room and you are able to hit it. Uh, and despite what you may have thought before with the spores, the whole house doesn't sort of erupt in fire, uh, but the bear definitely catches on fire. Oh, thank God. And uh, it, does, uh, it does four harm and the bear, uh, the bear itself, its flesh seems to be doing fine. I mean, it smells awful. It smells like burning hair. It's, it's yeah. just absolutely disgusting. But those mushrooms that are growing all over it slowly burn off of it. Uh, and Virgil, you being in the room, you see this bear as these mushrooms sort of burn and peel off of it. You see these clouds of spores also get emitted. And as soon as the last mushroom spore falls off of the bear, um, its eyes are no longer uh, this inky blackness, but return to what looks like a normal bear's eyes. Unfortunately, it's a bear that just got shot in the face and is now partially on fire. So it's still pretty upset with you. Oh God, oh God, Spencer, what'd you do? This bear's on fire now. Uh, <laughs> did it work? No, yes, Dex, what does it look like to you? Sad. <laughs> The barricade is starting to crumble as the wolves are constantly pushing themselves and, and, and uh, uh, pushing themselves and throwing themselves against it. If you look outside, you see these things are really attacking it in a way that you've never really seen animals work together before. There's a lot of purpose and drive in their movements. Uh, and just past them, you see these giant mushrooms are now emitting a ton of these spores that are just sort of uh, growing and going out. Dex, since you're sort of closest to the barricade, you're able to see that there are other animals that are starting to show up that now have these mushrooms uh, covering them. You see a couple birds. You think you even see one squirrel running by. Um, it seems like whatever's happening is spreading and pretty goddamn quickly. Seems like whatever's happening is spreading and pretty quickly. What do you think, No Dex? shit. <laughs> What's the escape plan? Your car or? I mean, we should probably just, well, we can't leave Virgil behind, but we also have to get out of here. So we should probably do one of those. Good idea. Maybe there are <laughs> trucks in the garage or something. Let's, let's check the garage, I that, guess, maybe. That was my idea. I want everyone to, I want to say again, this was my, that was my idea. That wasn't Dex's idea. That's a great idea, Dex. Do one, Dex. Got you should you. do that. No. Virgil, can you get out? Can you get out? Do you need Spencer to come get you? <gasps> Your... Me? So your shotgun, Virgil, by the way, was a double-barreled shotgun. You are completely out of ammunition. There doesn't appear to be any more. Why was this thing loaded in the first place? <laughs> yeah. There is a hunting rifle that is on the wall, may or may not be loaded. There's also some ceremonial blades that are on the wall and one machete. Okay. Uh... 
I'll go for the, the hunting rifle next. I okay. just throw I just throw the shotgun at the bear and go for the hunting rifle. You grab the hunting rifle. The bear is still standing between you, but is now sort of diving at you. Ah. And uh, I am going to need you to act under pressure to avoid getting uh, hit by this bear. Virgil, whatever you do, don't hurt the bear. He's an innocent creature. Kill the fucking yeah, yeah. bear, oh, Virgil. God. You are so close to the bear, you can see its eyes, and you see hate and malice in oh, those God. eyes. Like any animal. Oh, shit. Uh, what's it under pressure? That's cool. You rolled a six. Seven. You rolled a seven. Uh, so you are able to, as the bear sort of lurches forward at you, ah. uh, you are able to dive underneath it, but its claws scratch the shit out of your back, and uh. you take three harms. Ooh, owie. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Do, are there any knives in the kitchen or anything yeah. like that? So so Dex is still trying to hold the barricade back and says, Sloan, you should check the garage. You know how to drive now. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I will. And then this way you don't have to fight one of the animals that you respect. Thank you for acknowledging that. I... Do you intend to be a zoologist? Okay, this is about to collapse. Okay, absolutely. Spencer, <laughs> get in there and do something. My God, why can't you be more like Dex? I threw a fucking Molotov at the bear. What are you talking? And it was my idea to go to the garage in the first place. I'm going to the garage. Meet me there. So when you were outside, you were able to see a garage that was on the left side of the house on the entrance. Virgil ran through the hallway that was on the right side. It looks like you would probably be able to access the garage if you went to the left, all the way down. Okay, so I head toward the garage. Okay, Taking you are able path. to do that. You uh, are heading towards the garage. So these moves, just quickly, these, these moves, the acknowledge is like these once. Once per rest. Per rest, okay, got it, got it, got it. I wanna look for keys. Okay. Car keys, if anyone wants to help me the out. Because I don't have any cool. They're probably in the garage where I'm going. Car keys? Car is in the garage, but are the keys in the garage? There could be a little bowl by the door. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this is my thing, Patrick. Sorry, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Never mind, never mind. No, I insist, no. son. I insist. I'm just being, you know, you didn't think you know everything, don't you? It's just a character. It's just a character. I'm going the show. This is just me teasing. Go, go yeah. look for the keys. Go look for the keys. I look for the keys. Uh, you aren't really able to find anything. It doesn't look like there's like a key bowl or anything. Probably you do garage. see a bowl with uh, a couple of house keys in it. I just grab. I grab those. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. A handful of keys. Nice. Um, holding holding back the barricade. Nice work, Spencer. Thank it's you. It's not what we need right now, thank but you. it may come in handy later. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Thanks. For no <laughs> and then I say for nothing under my breath, so no what? one can hear. Nothing. Uh, oh, I thought you said something. No, I didn't say anything. Oh. Yeah. Sloan, you reach uh, the garage, uh, the door for the garage, and realize that it uh, it appears to be locked. Oh my god, the garage oh, is locked. That's perfect, because I, I just found a bunch of keys. I, is he with me? Uh, if he's heading down after you, yes. Of course yeah. I am. <laughs> We're best friends. <laughs> Spencer, what are you doing here? I got, I found some keys. Oh, uh, okay, actually this comes in really handy because the garage door seems to be locked. Do you, look, test them quickly, quickly, that's test them. perfect. And I, I hand you the keys. Okay, there's like a hundred keys on this thing. So, wow. Say that. Oh, say <laughs> while they're trying to figure out which that key... That's door open! <laughs> while they're trying to figure out which key is the right key, Virgil, you are out of the room, heading towards the hallway. You enter the uh, like big open space living room, first floor area. You see Dex barely being able to hold back this barricade as a bunch of wolves are throwing themselves into it, uh, as well as some coyotes trying to sneak in through the smaller gaps in it. Uh, and behind you is a bear that is coming back out of the room and looking for you. Dex, where is everybody? What's going on? They went to the garage. It was Spencer's suggestion, but no one heard him, so then I reiterated it later, and now they went. Why are they looking for a car? Don't you? We came in a car. I don't think that they, they thought that we would be able to get you out of that other room if we just fled to my car. Oh. So they're trying to find another car for purposes. I was hoping for an F. F uh, F one fifty. Is that the board? Oh, that's yeah. a that's a truck. I'm hoping yeah. for a big truck. <laughs> oh my god! Well, there's a bear coming. We gotta do something about this bear and get the hell out of here. Yeah, but on the other side of this barricade are also a bunch of wolves and coyotes and birds and a squirrel. Uh oh. So they're all seem. We're it seems like we're pretty trapped. Oh god. In the garage, uh, you open it up and the door swings wide open. And in the spot where there is normally a car, there is nothing. Oh, fuck. No cars here. There's nothing in the garage. 
I want to. I want to investigate a mystery. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> for. F wait, wait. No, hang on. This is sharp. So I got six, seven, eight. I got eight. You got an eight. What are you trying to? I am trying to figure out. This is. What Who is owns it? a garage? Exactly. No car. ARP. So. This is an ARP man. Now I have a feeling that there's some shit in this garage that I can because. These government people, they got, you know, they got their secrets everywhere. So I'm trying to figure out what is being concealed here. What is in this garage that I can use somehow to my advantage? What is he hiding in this He's garage? Is there the a warts. secret bunker? Is there a, an invisible car that I just can't see? Because all of these are things that I While Spencer's know. doing this, the garage door smashes in with Dex and... <laughs> Dex and Virgil having just crashed the, uh, Dex's car through the garage <laughs> door. <laughs> and said, Can we do this? And, and said, was there a girl? And he leans out the window and goes, was there a car in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if not, we should probably go. <laughs> Spencer, what the hell are you doing? Just get in the car. I, I hang my head and I say, I feel like there could have been something pretty cool in there. Probably, What's that? Probably a secret, I couldn't hear you. You're talking under your breath. Probably a secret bunker in there or something. But Look. No, fuck it, I don't know. Now, I'm now, now. sure there's more here than meets the eye, clearly. And you're the person to discern that, but we do have to get out of here before we get killed. Right. From inside the house, you hear the barricade break, uh, and there are now a bunch of footsteps. I towards. jump in the car. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sloan, take the wheel. Again? <laughs> know if I should be the getaway driver. All right, quick, we gotta go! Okay! Sloan turns the, uh, gets behind the wheel, everyone buckles up, but before anything can happen, the bear crashes through the doorway and slams itself down on the hood of the car, and suddenly the engine sputters, and, uh, oof, this baby ain't going anywhere. Spencer, we need you. <laughs> For what? The, the the bear. These are you powers. To, what else? What fuck is, am I supposed to do against a bear? What else Pack is, the car. What else is around? Get on us? Discord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so, did, did my concealed here thing? Look, I mean, there it must worked. be something. Yeah, there like, must be something more here. It's, oh, it's, that, now you want to know if there's something more here? It's an ARP house. Oh my god. Spencer looks around the garage, and it's kind of an interesting design. It's one of those uh, garages that sort of has like. You know, well, it had a pretty large door that, you know, that goes upwards until it got smashed through. Uh, but on the other side of the garage it, are these windows of which you can see outside. There are those large mushrooms. And one thing that you haven't really been able to notice until you got to this point and got a clear shot is that uh, there are three humans standing next to the largest mushroom, the one that is pouring out that, uh, that, those spore clouds. I say, uh, there's three guys out there. What do you mean, out there? Right there, under the mushroom, there are just three people. Spencer leans forward, like, from the back seat to point at it, and the bear smashes its hand <laughs> through the windshield. Spencer, there is one bear on the hood of the car right well, that's now. Not, I can't do anything about that. Fucking drive. Should I floor it? <laughs> yes. I think the car works. I floor it. The engine kind of sputters and, and then starts as the car runs through and crashes through the other side of the wall of this garage. Uh, and congratulations, you killed a bear. Oh, oh cool. The, dead. the bear is dead, and the car is also completely dead. Oh, God. Do we all have what? Did we, did we get our Molotovs? I think you made uh, one of them. And then threw it. They were made, okay. Yeah, there is in the garage, uh, one of the things you were able to see was a, a gas canister. Oh, I grabbed that. Okay. You no, know I grabbed that. <laughs> As the car crashes through the yeah. wall, Spencer yeah. grabs a gas can from the floor. <laughs> he opens the door and leans down. Run, but yeah. <laughs> Do we all get thrown from the vehicle? No, because you're all wearing your seat belts. <laughs> of course we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Safety first. I don't want to alarm anybody, but my back is bleeding profusely. Oh, God. Um, I'm sorry, Dex. I'm getting blood all over your nice seats. I think it's fine. <laughs> Car is pretty dead. <laughs> is there any first aid in this garage? It doesn't look like it. You guys are standing on the outside of the garage. I'm assuming outside of the car. And coming up uh, from where the, ba the bear came through 
are a couple of wolves, three wolves oh, and Jesus. four of those coyotes. Should we run towards the, those people under the mushroom? Sure, it's something. Let's I go. Mean, <laughs> yeah, it's better than a bunch of wolves. Standing here dilly-dallying, we got to get to safety. The mushroom looks a little bit untoward, doesn't it? That's true, too. I think our only other option, though, is wolves. I guess you... Right? This, I guess this sort of is your forte, huh? <laughs> All this weird shit? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest, I feel a little out of my depth right really? now. With, yeah, mushroom creatures and stuff. I Even the Discord didn't really know what to make of that, it seemed. Oh. Well, I think you're doing a great job, Spence. Oh, thank you. I think the wolves are coming and okay. we need to oh, okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Virgil, do you need Dex to carry you? I think I'll be okay. My legs are fine, believe it or not. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, Dex. Uh, if you need me to carry you, I can carry you. But okay. we probably won't make it very far. All right, I'll let you know if I need it. Okay, cool. Can we, can we run towards the people and like shout? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Dex pats him on the back. <laughs> Thanks, Dex. That's, I mean, that's, that's my only thought right now. Maybe talk to them, even though they're probably mushroom people. How far away are they? If you, they're not super far away. They're over by uh, uh, Lucas's uh, secret smoke spot. Okay. Can we run over there? Yeah, of course. So you're running. Do we want to do that? that? Do we want? Yeah, let's run it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Sure. Yeah. As you run towards it, you can hear the uh, footsteps of those wolves and those coyotes following behind you. And from the other side of the mushroom, you see a, another giant black bear uh, oh come God. out from behind it. <laughs> no. You also three, see those three figures uh, turn around, and they look horrifying. Two of them are absolutely covered in these spores, and the third one, which is smaller than uh, the other two, has a face that uh, you three recognize oh, no. as Mike Seeker. Spencer, you don't recognize anything. Oh my god, it's Mike Seeker. He's turned into a mushroom man. Spencer, look who it is. It's Mike Seeker from what? the photo that we have. He doesn't see. recognize him. No, Virgil, Virgil uh, saw it. Right? Yeah, he's, you said that's Mike Seeker. Right? Yeah. I just said yes, it is. I confirmed it. Can you I point can to which see. one he is? Uh, I, I kind of... You turn back to, to point towards one of them, and Mike Seeker jumps on top of you and <laughs> oh is using a, a, a move called Infect. Uh, this giant sporous blister on his face explodes, and you breathe in a mouthful of this fucking spore <laughs> This is my turn anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of how your friends felt, or at least most of your friends, uh, things go black and you hear a voice says, protect. And now I need you to roll plus cool. Uh, oh. No. 10? You hear a voice say protect and uh, that really doesn't mean shit to you. And you're able to sort of just push them off of you, and now you Ooh. have a uh, plus one moving forward. Oh, on what? Everything. Oh, Everything sick. I get plus one? Yeah. Every one, not uh, until oh, the just end any of, roll, any until roll. this fight, yeah. Oh, okay, got it. You have plus one moving forward on uh, on all rolls related to this fight. Okay. Um, Dex uh, uses his nunchuck to try and hit Mike Seeker off of uh, Spencer. Okay, uh, that is kick some ass. That's a three. But you've got your <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna luck. You're gonna Mark use to a, a, a piece of luck. Okay, so uh, mark luck, and then you use the nunchucks, which are what, two? Two uh, Yes. You use the nunchucks on, the, um, on Mike Seeker, and it does work to get him off, but it does not seem to have done any amount of damage. Oh, no. I have a tank of gas, I want to remind everyone. And we have a lighter. So if there's any, any gas-related stuff we want to do, say the word. There's a mushroom here. It's a big old mushroom. Uh, yeah, that mushroom that they are all standing in front of is uh, pulsating and glowing and pouring out more spores. That giant bear is heading towards you, and the other two family members uh, are now trying to get on top of uh, Virgil and Dex. Oh, shit. Can I, can I use that 12 to ho completely hold the advantage? All hunters involved in the fight get plus one forward? Of course, yeah. Ooh. So now everyone has plus one so forward? So I, I, hit, I hit Mike and then do like, and then do that, and it's really cool. 
and then everyone's like, wow. And they're very inspired. And they're very inspired. Uh, Even me begrudgingly. Am yeah. Is it and now you, I... you, Spencer, you have plus <laughs> two sweating. moving forward. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I want to, how close am I to the mushroom? Uh, you're all pretty close. I want to just douse that motherfucker in gas. Okay. And then uh, any X, even if it just means like putting the can upside down and just leaving it under the, you know what I mean? You are going to act under pressure. That is roll plus cool. But plus three. So 10. Okay, so on a 10, uh, you are able to sort of run around this giant mushroom, which is huge, by the way, and it almost seems to be getting bigger the longer you stand by it. Mm -hmm. And you're sort of doing this like weird jumping dance as you sort of like go like this, and you're able to pretty completely uh, uh, cover it in gasoline. Sloan, do you still have that lighter? You got it. And I toss the lighter. Wait, 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 no, I was uh, gonna say light it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make you a part of this. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought it'd be a cool thing we could do together. Okay. <laughs> you see her start to throw the lighter and then stop. Wow, cool, yeah, like the library buds. Yes, exactly. Okay. The library buds. All right. Before you can do anything, uh, a bear, the bear <laughs> comes and, uh, is going to attack the shit out of you. It's going to swipe at you, Sloan, and uh, gonna say you have to act under pressure. I think I can reason with the bear. I think I can see his, he can see my humanity. <laughs> and we can have a connection. Your powers. <laughs> Use them on the bear. <laughs> what powers? So I, I've, I clearly see that she has already thought that, but I yell that to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a it's a five. I'm gonna use a luck though. Okay, mark uh, mark luck. So you are able to something inside of you. You're about to set this this mushroom on fire, and something inside of you just goes, duck. And you don't know why, but you do. You you just fucking duck down, and you see from above you a giant bear claw, not the pastry, the scary monster <laughs> arm. Oh dang it. Swipes into this mushroom and uh, everything surrounding you suddenly screams an agonizing cry of pain oh. and sort of grabs onto their brain, almost like all of them just heard an incredibly loud noise right next to their ear. Did you see that, Spence? The, the bear hit the mushroom and it, 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 and it seemed to damage everything. That we need to light this motherfucker on fire. Let's do it. ASAP. I can make eye contact with the bear later. <laughs> Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up and light it. Douse it, douse it, douse it, douse it. Oh, it's doused, it's doused. Okay. Doused. And I light the, the lighter and I just toss it. Uh, all right. The uh, That is going to be act under pressure. But plus one, right? Oh, so nine. So nine, and then I want to help. I'll shoot at the bear. Okay, this is a distracting to draw, to like, okay. you know, they can look at, it, at me or something. Oh, 11 plus one, 12. Perfect. You shoot the bear at its head and it has this giant sort of spore cluster on its head. And when you hit it, it explodes and a bunch of gas goes out. And the bear, uh, you watch its eyes kind of return to normal and it sort of looks around and sees this. And Sloan, it makes direct eye contact with you. <gasps> and you don't speak bear, you can't really understand its thoughts, <laughs> but almost instinctually, you get the sense that this bear's going, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Do we have a moment, kind of? Like, yeah. I think we should bond. Yeah, it has a moment where it almost seems to be telling you with its eyes, you should get the fuck out yeah, of here, like, dude, I, this I, is I, fucked. I don't want to hurt you, I don't want to cherish you, I, mm -hmm. I respect you. The so bear, we, actually, and you all watch this, the bear, like a bow? Puts his, his claw like on your shoulder and then dips the fuck out wow. and runs. Wait, so, uh, so I want to help with the lighter thing now. Sure. How are you? You you are helping her by encouraging her. So you sort of yeah. came up with the plan. Seven plus three. So that's a ten. That is a uh, you uh, do plus one. So that gets you to ten. That gets you to ten, which is a uh, strong success. <laughs> I helped. So I think other people were helping now. I'm also gonna help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says as he walks up. So that's nine. Plus one for cool. That's plus ten. Plus one for the advanced bu buff that we all have. Uh huh. So eleven. So uh, I, give, I give Sloan a thumbs up. <laughs> and I, I give a, a thumbs up back. So Sloan, you are able to light the lighter and you are going to throw it on there, but because you now have a twelve, uh, you get to do something extra. 
Uh, is there any other thing that you would want to do with this move or anything that you'd want to do uh, immediately after? Say, say ice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, bef before, I have, I have, I always keep a little um, like beaker in my pocket mm -hmm. in case I, and there's any like scientific anything that I might encounter. So I, can I like chisel off a little piece of the mushroom? Yeah, yeah, of course. And put it, so I, I do that really quick. As I'm, as I'm doing it, I turn to, to the chaos around me and I say, as my LFF Spencer would say, ice to see you. And then I <laughs> You create fire. <laughs> you throw, you the throw of ice. the lighter and uh, the, the giant mushroom just completely erupts in flames and uh, everyone that was uh, sort of standing around you, the bear, the wolves, the coyotes, uh, the three humans that were there all start just crying out in agony and holding their heads and falling onto their knees as you sort of watch these things wither and die just as the mushroom is. And as the flames grow larger and larger, you sort of watch all of these other mushrooms that are surrounding you sort of wither up and die too and just fall into the ground. This cloud of spores, you sort of just watch it deteriorate and fade away. And this giant mushroom that you set on fire just slowly, slowly burns uh, and uh, eventually falls over and surprisingly the fire doesn't really spread to anywhere else and once the mushroom is completely burnt up to a, just a fried crisp the fire just sort of puts itself out. Is the little sample of mushroom in the beaker, does that maintain itself? Mm -hmm. in, its, in his final moments does, does Spencer recognize Michael Seeker as he withers into nothing? Yeah, so you <laughs> look over <laughs> as the mushroom <laughs> falls. You look over and you see uh, Michael Seeker uh, just writhing in pain, <laughs> making mm -hmm. these disgusting, awful noises. It's, and uh, Michael Seeker! Yeah. Michael Seeker! Green That's sweater! Seeker. Green sweater! Green sweater! <laughs> you, you see him and you ju just a, f a fucking bunch of memories yeah. hit yeah. you okay, in cool. the face. Cool, cool, cool. You completely remember this person, you, almost to the point where you can't even believe there's any world in which you forgot who this person mm -hmm. is. Oh he sees gosh. all the times Michael Seeker gave him swirlies and like, <laughs> yeah. like knocked down his ice cream cone when he was a yeah. kid. Yeah, and then yeah, after you recognize him, you watch him writhing in pain, and there's a little part of you that's like, nice, nice. Are we gonna have to break this news to Lucas, let alone Michael Seeker's father, Bruce Seeker? I think Bruce Seeker was one of those people who started on fire. I think that we just killed sense. Bruce Seeker. I think that was maybe the mama and papa of Mike that, Seeker. That definitely makes the most sense. Yeah. The fire that, uh, that it, there's, there's a small amount of fire on uh, this burnt crisp of mushroom, and uh, it was red. It was a red fire, I mean, like fire normally is. But all of a sudden, uh, the fire sort of goes out and then reignites as a blue flame. And this flame sort of starts to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you hear a voice say, Stop. And suddenly, all of you are passed out. You are all, uh, you all fall onto the ground. No, I want real Pratt Falls. Thank you. <laughs> Dex fell into, with a thumbs up instinctually. You all fall into a blackness. There is nothing. You're all in sort of this void together uh, and you look around and you can see each other, but you can't speak, you can't say anything, and there's really not much movement you can do. And in front of you, even though everything is dark, you see a figure that is somehow darker than dark. It's almost as if any light even available is being sucked into it. And this creature says, It seems in my slumber I've learned to underestimate humanity. I promise you that won't happen again. I would quit while I was ahead. You don't know what you're doing and you all come back and you are sitting <laughs> <laughs> you are sitting in uh, in an open field there is no house there are no bodies there is no sign that there was ever once a structure here and uh, as you look out towards where the uh, the seeker house used to be you see a perfectly intact car the car that belongs to uh, deck oh well, as perfectly intact as it was. 
Yeah, before. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a piece of shit car. This... You know, I think I know what this means. I think this means you're going to be late for your shift. Uh, I mean, we have bigger we're concerns. On an atomic level, what just happened here is not possible. I guess not. Uh, on the contrary. And then I spout some bullshit about <laughs> how it's possible. <laughs> is my back okay? Many times before. How's my back look? Your back is... Oh! <laughs> Your back is completely healed. Oh. You uh, seem to have suffered no harm. Is oh. my personality p better? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, you're still pretty insufferable. Uh, everything we just experienced here has been entirely removed from this existence. Yeah. Oh my god. That doesn't. No, it doesn't. We're in a fucking. We're in a simulation. Uh, this is freaky. Okay. Well, Virgil, what, what do you think happened here? Something weird's going on. I think. There might be something going on with like the ARP or something, but did anybody else see like that the guy? The guy? The guy. In the void? The, the, yes. The dark. Sauron? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be punched above our weight here as mystery solvers, but I don't know. We should talk to somebody. We'll like see if anybody remembers. I mean, on the one hand, we can just do what the voice said and stop investigating this any further. Oh, that's not happening. Or on the other. Yeah. We could dig even deeper. That's what we're doing. I think that's what's going to happen. We're doing that one. Sloan, everything is sort of swirling around in your head, and you don't really know what's going on. And now, all of a sudden, you feel something. It's not right. It's not part of your body. You don't know what's happening. Until you do, it's your phone ringing. Oh, I thought you were pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you pull it out, and you see uh, that it is, uh, it is Shirley Walker. Your boss at uh -oh. the uh, at the Wiener Factory. <laughs> I thought I didn't have any minutes left this month. <laughs> I say don't pick up. Yeah. Don't pick up. You're not available. You're so much better than this job. <laughs> don't do it. Let it go to voicemail. Guys, I think we have to go to the Wiener Factory. <sighs> All right, Dex, give Sloan the keys. Shirley, I'll be right there. Before you hang up, you hear uh, you hear the voice of your boss, who you. By the way, you are now over thirty minutes late for your shift. Right before you hang up, you hear her go, "Bitch!" Oh, um. How did she take it? it I, I think I'm gonna have to do some overtime. All right. So are are you all are you all going to the Wiener Factory? Or are you kind of splitting ways? Let's all go to the Wiener car. Factory. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna be stuck out here in an open field, it's Spencer. Yeah. All right. So you walk inside of the mall, and uh, you are passing by the stuff that you've seen already. You pass by uh, the lids, you know, smelling of Axe body spray and overpriced headgear. Um, you pass by the Orange George. Uh, yeah. You pass by the, the two churches and yeah. the, the karate studio. Both karate suit. Yeah, and they're actually, uh, they, they're on opposite sides of the mall. And, like, and they're, you both see that they're just like staring out the window at each other, like angrily. Evangelical, Yeah, I guess. And then you get to the food court where your boss, uh, Shirley, is standing there looking very upset with you. Okay, guys, I, I think if I just explain to her the situation, or, I mean, in vague terms, she'll completely understand, and somebody can cover the rest of my shift. So, you well, know. I have a lifetime of trying to explain this shit to ordinary people. She's not gonna believe a word of it. Shirley sees you and walks over to you and looks you in the eye and goes, nobody fucks over Shirley. You're fired and then uh, walks away and walks over uh, back behind the Wiener factory and goes, Shirley didn't think this through. Shirley still got to work the rest of this shift. God damn it, fuck. Uh, 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 I, and this works out great for us. Uh, we can keep you I in. march up to the, to the Wiener factory <gasps> counter. Oh, she's doing it. You know what, bitch? <gasps> oh. I look back at it. She's so confident. Shirley, Shirley almost like falls backwards and almost yeah. falls. All, all Dex, thumbs up over here. Dex, yeah, yeah. Dex, Dex gives her a thumbs up. <laughs> you can't fire me because I'm not a wiener believer anymore. And I reach in my backpack and I take my wiener factory costume and I throw it down. And then, and then I do this 
and then all the other people in the mall food court working at the other stand, they start clapping. They actually so do. Kind of starts they, up. Yeah. <laughs> start clapping. Uh, and you can see uh, standing uh, in the in the in the shop like two two vendors down at the Orange George uh, is Lucas. And Lucas looks at the four of you and goes, dude, hell yeah, Sloaner, fuck yeah, dude. That's right. And I don't even eat pork. Well, that, that's a, <laughs> people, so people go, I, okay, yeah. Whatever. All right, we should probably There's go. There's all guys at the end of it where they go, yeah! yeah. That was exhilarating. That was incredible. That was so great. You were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Good work. Lucas walks up to <laughs> Lucas walks up to the four of you, and he is holding a large orange George, the uh, the signature drink at an orange George. If right. you're wondering, and goes, "Hey, man, this one's for you." There's nothing weird in it, is there? No, no, I wouldn't. I don't take you as the kind of person that would do any kind of like drugs or anything. Okay. Well, thank thank you. Yeah, of course. Out of curiosity, I want to pull the photo out and look at it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you look at the photo, and it's what the photo that you've seen before. It's, okay. it's got uh, it's got Lucas in it, and he is standing or he's sitting on his red Schwinn, and uh, you can see Mike uh, Seeker, who is uh, standing next to his blue bicycle. Okay, just making sure. I saw something happen in a movie that made may have determined this photo might have in changed, my eyes but light up. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, never mind. How you doing, Lucas? We went to go check out Michael Seeker's house. Lucas looks at you and goes, who? What oh, was a Back to the Future situation? <gasps> you know, Michael Seeker, you right this here in the picture, yeah. This guy, your best friend. Lucas looks at the photograph and goes, how'd you get a picture of me? He can't see him. He can't see him. Really, Spencer? He can't see him. <laughs> Are you sure there's nothing in this juice? Yeah, there's nothing in that juice. Just uh, a fuck ton of sugar. It's really bad for you. Uh, you, yeah. you. Gave us that photo. One second, Lucas. Can we oh, like can okay. we hold on over here? Yeah. What the fuck is going on? I don't. They erased reality somehow or something. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> because I'm not. He doesn't know now that he gave us the photo. That house was still there when we came. But something happened. We're in a time loop, perhaps. Lucas, you hired us to find your friend Mike Seeker, and you gave us a photograph that had two bikes in it, and you were right looking for a blue it. bike. But uh, turns out that that photograph actually had a hidden image in it of Mike Se Seeker that we could only see after we breathed in a bunch of fungus. And then when we showed it to you, you're like, oh yeah, that's what happened. So we went to Mike Seeker's place, well his dad's place, and we got attacked by a bear and a bunch of other animals. And then there was a giant mushroom and we burned the mushroom down and then we saw a vision. And then when we woke up in the field, uh, everything was gone. And then we came here because Sloan was late for her shift. But then she told off that bitch Shirley. And so uh, now she doesn't have to work there anymore, which is pretty cool. Um, and so that's now we're showing you this thing. So that's what's up. Lucas kind of like leans back a little bit and goes, all right, I don't know who the fuck you guys are buying your shit off of, but if that's what's out there on the market, I might have to quit. Y'all have a good one. And he walks away. Seems like he doesn't know any of it happened. No, yeah. He's kind of like the, the way Spencer was until recently. Indeed. But I think, but we all know what happened still. I remember everything. Yeah. Including having been able to see Mike Seeker in that photo <laughs> for the entire time that we, had it, that we had it. Are we now the only people that remember the Seeker family? And, and remember, like, their entire house is gone. Any any remnants of their existence have been removed from our reality. Well, I guess we're just kind of fortunate because, like, we kind of killed them, too. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we would have probably been tried for murder, but... Mm -hmm. At least manslaughter. And as our group of mystery solvers tries so hard in the middle of a food court to figure out whether or not they murdered somebody, which is, if we're being honest, more of like a Nike factory store conversation. We sort of uh, pan out from that situation and uh, see all of Paradise Path, Oregon, a town that sits very quietly and uh, in the woods, there are no dust clouds. There are no shrooms. Um, but there also are not any animals. Something definitely weird is going on here, and we'll figure out what on the next episode of Must Be Dice Paradise Path. Oh man, I was gonna get a slice of Shigoro's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.